New tonight, the FBI and Cornelius Police released these two new pictures of Madalena Kojakari, the Cornelius child who's been missing since November. Investigators say it took her parents 22 days to report her missing. We just found out about it last week. Both of them are now in jail, charged with failing to report a missing child. Channel 9's crime reporter Hunter Signs is live in Cornelius. And Hunter, so many people have been moved by this case, not just locally, but nationwide. Yeah, Evan, so many people are plugged into this case. We are here outside of Madalena's home in Cornelius. This is the last place her mother says she saw her in late November, and now neighbors and people across the country continue to do what they can to spread the word. These new photos released by police and the FBI show a joyful Madalena Kojakari and her love of horses. The case of this 11 year old now missing for more than a month has gripped this community. Um, I've kind of become consumed by the case. Rochelle Charles lives in Cornelius and has two girls herself. For this mother, the heartbreaking case hits home. My girls are 10 and 12, so she's right in between their age. Um, and I just can't imagine the situation happening, you know, to a little girl that age. Investigators haven't said much about this disappearance, as many still wonder about the latest on the search efforts for her. With little to no family in the area, a community has come together to support Madalena. Who's going to advocate for, for those that aren't able to voice for themselves? I mean, Madalena cannot voice for herself. Um, we don't know where she's at. Michelle Sutton is a missing child advocate. She and others are following the case and spreading the word online, including in this Facebook page named Where is Madalena Kojakari? It has nearly 5,000 members and counting, sharing the latest developments on the case, praying the power of social media will pay off. Because you don't know who you're friends with on, on social media most of the time. And so it may be someone who's in that area that shares that flyer that somebody else sees or they shared your video and somebody else seen it um, that has seen one of these children. Efforts many hope will lead to a Christmas miracle and Madalena's safe return. This is the time where we're spending together with our families, our kids, getting excited about Christmas. This little girl is missing. And if you remember on Wednesday, investigators went inside this home and came out with bags and a box of evidence. We still don't know what they took with them that could be detailed in a search warrant. We've been trying to get our hands on that since Wednesday, but we are told we likely could get that search warrant on Wednesday of next week. Once the Mecklenburg County Courthouse opens back up after the holidays. We're live in Cornelius tonight. Hunter signs Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Hunter, I know you'll stay on top of it. A lot of people interested to find out what within those bags. Thank you, Hunter. This is a developing story, of course. Check our WSOC News app for updates and make sure you have the breaking news push alerts turned on.